the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 8GB of RAM version 256GB internal storage is right here with us and we tested it with editing some footage today using Adobe Rush. We've thrown some heavy C-Log footage added about 4 to 6 clips with some transition, some writing and wanted to see how this device really holds up and guys if you are new to our channel we do awesome tech reviews and more but mainly awesome tech reviews when you were using the galaxy tab s6 and the adobe rush together and editing the c-log footage what was your experience then the good thing i found about the device is that it is easy to import any footage so importing footage and then working on it creating a workflow on the app itself on the the device itself was a pleasurable experience and we need to download media you can either plug in a SD card and take it directly from there or you can use the Dropbox or your creative cloud after the import what was the experience like putting it into the timeline cutting the footage were there any delays were the application crashing the once we have all our information in there all our files in there we can start to edit i have cut on the ipad pro before using the imovie and clip but this is the first time on the rush app i found it easy as i say to create a workflow but when importing the actual footage the device struggled with it whether that was the app or the device okay. itself yeah. it struggled with the actual import we used dropbox which which is great you just use your dropbox to download from the cutting was quick as anything so let's see how it deals with more information we'll add a title in there are all different titles call out the adding text was quick the music adding everything was seamless even adding transitions on hmm. was seamless normal to have a few transitions I actually would have a lot more stacks here, but there were three occasions in which it crashed. Okay. But we don't know at this point if that was the um, application Adobe Rush or the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. We don't I know. I must say, personally, I think it's the app. Okay, so it is possible that it's just down to software not being optimized, but, right? Yeah, because there okay. are a few glitches within the app itself yeah. that were frustrating that had nothing to do with the device. Okay, but the import itself, you can use an SD card, you can yeah. upload it to Google Drive, I believe, and upload to yeah. Dropbox. So you, when you're out shooting, you can just put your SD card in, um, in fact, any hard drive um, yes. into the device and then transfer the footage and then Absolutely. use an editing software like we did, Adobe mm -hmm. Rush, right? Okay, so that's good to know though for the, the people out there who want to or considering buying uh, a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, either the 6 gigabyte version or 8 gigabyte version. Our recommendation would really be go for the 8 gigabyte version yeah. um, of RAM. I know it's not available in all of the countries. So we're going to play this 30 second clip we cut on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. At the end of this video, we wanted to show what the process was like and what the outcome is to give you guys that feel and experience and see how capable this machine is. But it really comes down to software optimization and hardware optimization is really very key to any yes. third party app. So you have seen what we have created. You have seen the workflow on this device. You've seen it's possible. How about you now share with us your creations? Let us know how you're getting on with your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. And uh, we are super interested. Leave us comments down below as usual. Like and subscribe, you know the drill, very important. Hit the notification bell so you are always up to date with our latest videos. Jens here from All Star Space. Tony the Car Geek. See you next time. Peace out.